Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor. Something to save us, close but we're strangers. So good morning guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm taking you along for a day of cleaning. Um, it's a Monday morning when I'm filming this and I, I'm just going to do my usual Monday morning routine. So it's when I usually kind of go around and tidy up the entire house because it's usually quite bad after the weekend. And on Sunday night I'm usually quite tired so I don't feel like tidying up all the toys downstairs. So it's a complete mess and I'm just going to go around and give it a bit of a tidy. And the Monday as you may or may not know is the day when we get our food shop delivered so we're getting our um, Tesco food shop today later in the afternoon and then I'm also going to do a bit of a fridge cleanup before the food shop arrives and I'm also going to share with you our dinner recipe for tonight um, I really like the recipe that I'm going to make tonight so I think you guys might like it too um, and yeah let's go ahead and get started I'm going to start in the um, bedroom in our bedroom just kind of making the bed and tidying up a bit around here okay, so I'm actually going to put on my headphones first and I'm just going to listen to a podcast while I do my cleaning and I'm listening to a podcast about blogging this morning um, and yeah let's go ahead and get this started <laughs> Okay, our bedroom is looking so much better now. So I'm going to move into my son's bedroom now. And you may or may not know if you've watched my previous video that we got a new bed for him. Um, it's like a bigger IKEA bed. Um, I will link below the video for that if you guys want to see his bedroom makeover. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and tidy up his room as well. Now I'm going to show you our living room. Okay, so this is the state of our living room at the moment after the weekend. It was quite a rainy weekend, that's why there's all the boots and wellies there. And we've also got this little tunnel thingy. It's um, this one, build your own den. Um, so Victor got this one and he really loves it. It's just these sticks that you put together um, like this. This is what they look like underneath. So it's a really cool thing for him to play with. So he's been playing with this all weekend because it was raining outside, but now it's time to tidy it all up because I really need to hoover as well. Touch a beautiful sound 
up from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make okay, a sound The living room is done, it's looking so much better now, isn't it? And now I'm going to go ahead and tidy up in the kitchen because I didn't tidy up this morning after breakfast I'm also going to clean up the fridge and yeah, just get everything ready for when we get our food shop later today to wake up Flashlight, the blanket, and the man. It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while. I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? Okay, we just got our Tesco food shop delivered so I'm going to walk you through everything that we got and I think we got a bit less than we usually would because on Friday I actually went to do kind of a top-up food shop um, and I got quite a few bits so I still have a few things from last week so I'm going to use those up um, but yeah but actually let me walk you through the meal plan for this week first so um, I have on my list six dinner recipes so I've got puff pastry mini pizza so I have some puff pastry in the fridge from last week so I'm going to use that up I just use some um, cheese ham or salami and some veggies that I have in the fridge and I make those puff pastry uh, mini pizzas which I think I have shared before then I'm going to make some barbecue sausage skewers this is a recipe that I have from HelloFresh we're not getting a box this week but um, I just got the ingredients myself and then I have uh, tandoori chicken and naans. Then we're having some Cajun chicken tacos another um, another evening. And then I'm making a recipe tonight, which I'm going to show you in a second because it's so good. It's a warm roasted salad uh, with lentils, 
it's so delicious um this one's also one from hello fresh so i'm gonna show you the recipe as well and then the last recipe for dinners is a stir fry noodles one so let me go ahead and show you the food shop okay so here is just kind of some random stuff so um dishwashing tablets and this is just a bubble mix so we got this because i just want to pour it in the little ones because they are out got some bin liners some descaler tablets for our kettle um got some non breads for the tandoori chicken with non got some bagels toasty um wraps for our taco night and then i've got some chocolate like pano chocolate i was going to say choco brioche pano chocolate this is for us and for victor as well then i got some um veggies here so i've got some tomatoes um i need cucumber for one of the recipes but i already have that in the fridge so um i got an aubergine for tonight's dinner avocado for some lunches um broccoli red onion um bell pepper this is going to go in the tacos and I have a few bell peppers in the fridge for my um, stir fry as well. And I also have my noodles for stir fry from last week. Um, then we got some mature cheddar cheese. I got some custard for, for our scones and I just realized they haven't brought the scones this week. Um, they must have been out. So I might pop in the shop at one point to see if they have those. Um, I got some of this goo hazelnut and chocolate spread. It's kind of a substitute for Nutella. Um, I got some natural yogurt. This is for the tandoori chicken nuns and then also for the chicken tacos. So I got two of those. Got some shreddies. Got some halloumi. Um, I think I'm going to make a lunch with this. Got some salami slices. This is not the one that I usually get, but they substituted um, for this one, which is fine. Um, got some baby corn and mosh too for our stir fry. Got two things of chicken. It's just the diced chicken breast. So one is the chicken tacos and one is the chicken uh, with nuns. Then we got some sausages. So I'm going to use these for the um, barbecue um, sausage kind of skewers. And then I think I'm just going to do half for that and then half for um, I'm just going to keep for another recipe. We've got the tomato mascarpone sauce for pasta which Victor loves um, then we got some lentils these are just brown lentils for tonight's dinner which I'm gonna show you in a second it's so delicious um, got some halib orange uh, baby and toddler multivitamins this these are the ones that we get for Victor um, and then we got two things of orange juice but then here I'm actually not sure what happened how we ended up with so much milk I, I think I put a few and then my husband also put a few in the order and we didn't realize but that's fine because I think these ones will last for longer. So we just got whole milk and then we usually get this UHT one to have in the cupboard um, in case the other one goes bad or we run out. And I also get, I've been getting this All Pro Vanilla Milk for my iced coffees because it's been quite hot lately and I love having this with my iced coffees. I usually go for whole milk in my coffee because um, I haven't found one that I liked. Um, but this one I actually do like. Um, and then this one, I think my husband put in this one. So yeah, we have a whole bunch of milk to go through this week. And then I got some profiteroles because these are always nice to have as a pudding for myself and my husband. And then some mini rolls, um, chalky flapjacks, and just some simple wipes to have for Victor. And that is pretty much our food shop for this week. Yeah, so as I mentioned, it's not as much as we would usually get because we have a few things in the fridge. Um, from last week and we also have a few freezer bits that we need to go through so i'm kind of going to use those as well um but yeah i'm going to go ahead and make our dinner soon and i'm going to share with you um the recipe for that okay here is the recipe that i'm going to make tonight so it's the warm roasted tomato and lentil salad so it's a hello fresh recipe but i just got the ingredients myself i think i've made this three times already and i love it so much it's so delicious so i think it's going to be one of our favorites from now on. I've got all my ingredients out here. So um, I, it's kind of everything that I got. I think I'm missing red wine vinegar, but um, I'm just going to use balsamic vinegar. I'm going to add a bit extra instead. Um, but yeah, everything else I'm pretty much good. So I've got a ciabatta roll. I've got um, cherry tomatoes, feta cheese. I've got my lentils, um, a few sun-dried tomatoes. I'm going to use an aubergine, a garlic clove, it's supposed to be um, shallot, but I don't have shallot. I'm just going to use the red onion that I have because it needs to be used up. Um, and then I've got some rocket that I need to use up. And then um, here in the back, I've just got like 
um, olive oil, a bit of honey, uh, balsamic vinegar, and salt and pepper. So that's going to be pretty much what I'm going to need for this recipe. So you guys can actually screenshot this if you prefer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up the um, eggplant and tomatoes first. And those are going to go in the oven. Um, and then I'm also going to put the ciabatta roll. I'm also going to put that in the oven, but just towards the end. Um, and I'm just going to chop it up like this. And I drizz drizzle some olive oil and salt and pepper on it. Then I just cook the lentils with the onion, garlic and the sun-dried tomatoes. Um, and then you make the little dressing on the side and then combine it all together and it's so delicious. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I make this. I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near. We've got a fire in the tent, it's 5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left, get in trouble. Useless words. What you said, what I said, that might have made it worse. We're here again at the same spot where we kissed the first time. I swear my pain is far away, long gone by now. We've got a fire in the tent. It's my third. About 30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left. Get in trouble again. That star's got nothing on you. That one's brand new. Still, it's got nothing on you tonight. We've got a fire in the tent. It's 5.30 Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready let me be honest i don't know a single thing that i haven't done to make you notice me let me be real here when i see you my heart starts racing but i don't know if i like this chasing and playing and waiting no Okay, we just finished dinner. It was really delicious. I highly recommend that recipe. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Do give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more cleaning videos like this and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!